All right, Gary, tell us who introduced you to the LifeWave X39 stem cell activation patch. How long have you and Barbara been on the patch? And what have you noticed? Because I know you have also been to um, one of your doctors here recently. So I would love to hear what you noticed first, initially, both of you, and then what's changed even more recently here with you and since you've been using the patch. Okay, well, it was the uh, Gay the Wall Stacy Howeger connection that uh, introduced us to this amazing patch that I did not believe that was too good to be true. And, uh, but we were going to try it. Uh, June 14th, Barbara was laying on the couch. Mm -hmm. I looked over and she was in boo-hoo tears. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mean, sobbing tears because her wrist was so hurt and so bad. I said, oh, nothing I could do. We had done the CB oils, the lotions, the potions, all that stuff. Um, it probably should have been a cast or something. Next day, the X39 comes. I didn't know what we had. We put them on. I'm watching TV. Uh, and we put them on every day at 10 a.m. And uh, 2 o'clock, Barbara says, I'm going to go see how my hip is because she had a chronic seven-year hip that she couldn't sleep on. Every now and then, I'd remember, I wonder how her hip is. Oh, it still hurts because she's not a complainer. But the wrist was something I saw and, and I still remember clearly. She goes into the bedroom, uh, comes out in tears of joy, wrist pain gone, hip pain gone, like a new person. And I'm like, wow. what? Yeah, wow. Uh, the wrist pain the next day was about a two or a three. And uh, it took a few more days for the, the, at the patch to restore it. That hasn't come back. The hip hasn't come back. Uh, I guess about four months in, we finally realized because um, Barbara had eaten a bowl of corn, that she no longer was affected by diverticulitis. Last time she had eaten one kernel of corn out of a bowl of soup, she was in bed for seven days. And I guess I'd say, you want to go to the hospital? No, I'm okay. And um, so she ate the bowl of corn and no reaction whatsoever. And we kind of forgot that she even had it. Um, the other, she had that for probably 20 years. Uh, the other thing that she had that uh, that over the last six months, I'm coming off a of sleep medication. So it's been a little, uh, I've, I've been the king of snore at our house. So she's been out on the couch a few times, more than I care to count. And um, usually that would bring about her heart arrhythmia. She's like, I got to sit on my heart's out of whack. I said, you okay? Uh, and, and it was, you know, I mean, anytime you, the heart's out of whack, that that's not a good thing. Well, Typically, lack of rest would be a trigger for that. And I would always say, get some rest, get a nap, take it. It's okay. I'll give you the day off, take a nap. And uh, so we realized in the four, now six months, no diverticulosis, no heart arrhythmia, wrist pain, hip pain, all gone. Um, I noticed in week, in the first month that I was getting dark eyebrows. And it kind of, you know, when it happens to you, it's a little freaky, okay? I mean, other people can talk about it, but when it's your body, you see dark hair. So last, probably three weeks ago, when I, I got a haircut, my stylist said, what are you doing to your hair? She goes, I said, what do you mean? She says, you've got dark hair here. I said, it's just growing in black. Uh, and that's just the way it is. And like Yvonne, my, I got a, eight spots on my hand that are now kind of like freckles. Um, I had one customer tell me, I was showing her the video about, you know, the, this incredible product. And as she was looking at it, she kind of almost whispered and said to me, do you know you don't have any lines? And I was like, no, I didn't know that. She goes, how old are you? I said, well, I'm double digits. Okay, I'm up there. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, so, so you know, I, I, I didn't know that. Um, and so, uh, and then I, I, the, the, the turkey neck is kind of almost gone, which I'm glad of. So those are things physically um, for us. And then just the other day, I guess two days ago, we went for our eye exam. And um, I didn't know what to expect. You know, we hadn't been there in two years because of COVID. Uh, and Barbara, about three weeks ago, had to switch her glasses to an older pair because her current glasses were too strong. I said, well, let's see what happens. So I go in first and we've had the same ophthalmologist or optometrist for several years. And uh, he's doing this and doing that. And, and, and I said, how's it look, doc? He said, well, your left eye has improved. I said, it's done what? He said, it's improved. 
I said, is that normal? He said, no. <laughs> he said, what are you doing? I said, well, I, I, I got a, I got a patch on here, but I said, I showed him, I said, I'm, I'm wearing a stem cell activation patch. He goes, really? I goes, yes, yeah. that's amazing. And it's, and the right eye was, was only marginally worse. Uh, bottom line for me was I didn't really need to get any glasses. So then Barbara goes in and I see her coming out. And, and I, I think when she was coming out, she was giving him some patches. Because <laughs> <laughs> whatever, yeah, Barbara was, she had just happened to have, I don't know, we were going to drop some off to somebody. So she had like five X-39s okay. and, 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 and he wanted some for him and he wanted some for his wife the lady that we've worked with, with getting new glasses and, and we didn't get it this time. So we saved over $2,000 in glasses. Thank you very much. Uh, was like, I said to her, I said, Melanie, I said, I said, does this happen often? She says, no, it's never happened. I said, really? Never? You mean like never? She goes, no, never happened. I said, oh, because every time we've gone for the last, I don't know, 20 years at least, you always have to get a stronger pair of glasses for whatever reason. And this year we didn't. So um, it was it was pretty, pretty wild. Uh, and so today I took over to the uh, to the optometrist some more patches for him and for his wife. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That is fabulous.